The Nintendo Switch is excellently designed, with the device being perfectly optimized for both casual and serious gaming, alongside being a versatile game playing device letting you play games both in front of a TV and on its own as a portable console. It's a one-stop shop for everyone's gaming needs, whether they're a veteran gamer or have never picked up a controller in their lives, all thanks to the wonderful designers at Nintendo. Not sponsored. <laughs> The Nintendo Switch was unveiled on October 20th, 2016. Known in development by its codename, NX, the concept of the Switch came out as Nintendo's reaction to several quarters of financial losses in 2014, attributed to poor sales of its previous console, the Wii U, and market competition for mobile games. Nintendo's then-president, Satoru Iwata pushed the company towards mobile gaming and novel hardware. The Nintendo Switch's design is aimed at a wide demographic of video game players through multiple modes of use. Nintendo opted to use more standard electronic components, such as a chipset based on Nvidia's Tegra line, to make development for the console easier for programmers and more compatible. As the Wii U had struggled to gain external support, leaving it with a weak software, Nintendo preemptively sought the support of many third-party developers and publishers to help build out the the Switch's game library alongside Nintendo's first-party titles, including many independent video game studios. While Nintendo initially anticipated around 100 titles for its first year, over 320 titles from first-party, third-party, and independent developers were released by the end of 2017. As an eighth-generation console, the Nintendo Switch competes with Microsoft's Xbox One and Sony's PlayStation 4. Nearly 3 million console units were shipped in its first month, exceeding Nintendo's initial projection of 2 million, and within a year of release, achieved over 14 million units sold worldwide, outselling total lifetime sales of the Wii U. By the start of 2018, the Switch became the fastest selling home or hybrid console in both Japan and the United States. As of March 2021, the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite have sold more than 84 million units worldwide. Switch sales have been strongly tied to sales of Nintendo's first party titles, with six games, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Mario Odyssey, Super Smash Bros Ultimate, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and Animal Crossing New Horizons, having sold over 20 million units each. The system is a tablet-like monitor that consists of an LCD screen measuring 6.2 inches on its diagonal, same as the Wii U gamepad, which can either be docked into its station for use as a home console, mostly for use on television systems, or PC monitors as a portable system making it a hybrid console, one of the very few released by the console sellers with a notable portion of the market share. While docked, the unit can support resolutions of up to 1080p and a maximum frame rate of 60 frames per second, though the maximum resolution varies depending on the game. As an example, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild runs at a maximum 900p and 30 frames per second, while the Switch is docked. Tabletop mode is where the console placed on a table or other flat surface using its kickstand for shared gaming away from a dedicated screen or in handheld mode as a standard portable tablet device. Because of this availability, gamers can play virtually wherever and whenever they want in public or on a piece of private property that allows it, with a game they could also see on a bigger screen. For its release in 2017, the idea of having a handheld and a home console in one product was unthinkable, but with the innovation and insight at Nintendo, it became simple to understand and took off in popularity with so many console gamers everywhere. I think the problems the Switch's Joy-Con solve are best summarized in this Boogie 2988 clip. No longer will fat guys have to continue to T-Rex our controllers. We can now play the way our big fat god intended. Yeah, I know he's pretty controversial right now, but I think it's relevant to this video. Anyway, the Joy-Cons attach to the Switch console via side rails using a locking mechanism, with a small release button on their rear face to allow them to be detached. When detached, they can be used as a pair by a single player attached to a grip that emulates a gamepad form factor, or used as separate controllers by two individual players. A single Switch console can support up to eight Joy-Con connections. Straps can be attached to the sides of the Joy-Con, when they are detached, with each featuring a set of four labeled buttons on their front sides, joysticks next to them, and pairs of triggers on the tops. Admittedly, I'm frustrated with the right controller's placement of its joystick so close to the buttons, but I can understand Nintendo doing this. Regardless of minute limitations this system might have, the detachable Joy-Cons that this player can choose to have as separate contributors to the game have let so many just let their arms hang wherever, in what I assume is a mildly depressing Cheeto duster in a Mountain Dew with 
withdraw after focusing too hard on meticulously making their Minecraft fortress secure enough when it was just a bad idea in the first place. This is getting really specific. Point is, the Nintendo Switch is a really versatile system and it can accommodate the needs of most any player, no matter what their gaming intention is.